Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nitin here and today I have come with a very amazing problem. It is uh, on collision frequency and uh, heat transfer and it's an original problem. Uh, guys, you can join me on Unacademy using my code Nitin Sir. Here you can find some of the best courses of physics available in India. And uh, here is the problem uh, statement. <coughs> And yes, uh, it was uh, quite late uh, since I have uh, posted any video, uh, got busy with uh, some work here. So I hope uh, in the next coming days, I'll be a little more regular and I'll be bringing more uh, such amazing problems to you. So here is the problem statement. N moles of a, an ideal gas having F degree of freedom is present inside a flexible spherical container. Right, the gas in the container is heated due to which the vessel expands in such a way that the molecules hitting the walls remains constant at any moment of time. That means the number of molecules which were hitting earlier, and uh, that will be a, that number remains the same even if uh, it is expanding for any uh, radius. All right. Uh, if heat supplied to the gas is Q, then find the temperature change of the gas. So we have to calculate here the temperature change. So the very first thing which should uh, come in your mind after uh, seeing this problem is heat supplied is giving delta T is uh, they are asking. So somehow this is related to the molar specific heat of the process involved here because we can write this Q is equal to NC process delta T and delta T we have to find. So somehow if we can find uh, uh, this C process will uh, reach to the conclusion we will get the desired answer but only thing is uh, in order to find C process we have to look for what kind of process this gas will follow uh, will follow under this condition. So let's discuss the concept part here uh, we know uh, the collision frequency is 1 by 6 uh, n VRMS or 1 by 4 n V average different books uh, use different result and in fact J means in the same year uh, they gave the problem on collision frequency at once they use this formula and at uh, one place they have used this formula however our problem will not be affected by which formula we are going to use so the collision frequency actually is number of collision per unit area per unit time with the container wall. So again I'll repeat it is number of collision per unit area per unit time with the container walls. So this N in the formula is a number of gas molecules per unit volume. So you can say gas molecule concentration. So here I can write this uh, collision frequency as number of collisions per unit area per unit time. So NC by 4 pi r square t. And that should be equal to 1 by 6 n that is number of uh, molecules per unit volume so n naught by v i am writing and this v rms uh, i am using here otherwise you can use v average also uh, see the in the end uh, we have to see that is proportional to temperature both the velocity so it doesn't make any difference to the final answer involved however i will uh, suggest students to be little uh, vigilant on this because uh, both formulas are used and uh, uh, I'll suggest you check answer by both the formulas and whichever is matching you can use that because uh, I think in uh, 2019 uh, J means in one of the set they have used this formula and in one of the set they have used this formula anyways so volume of uh, this is fear I can write as 4 by 3 pi r cube so from here this r square will be proportional to uh, volume to the power 2 by 3 now i'll bring this uh, here and this nc has to be constant it is given in the problem statement so nc divided by v to the power 2 by 3 is equal to root t by v i can adjust this uh, v that uh, number of collisions is proportional to root t by v to the power 1 by 3 so further when i arrange i am getting this as uh, process equation t to the power 1 by 2 and uh, v to the power 1 by 6 let's say le let's take the 6 power so this will become t to the power t cube by v square equal to constant now i can convert this into a polytropic uh, this is a polytropic process equation if you substitute uh, pv equal to nrt let's eliminate t and we will get uh, the standard form of polytropic process which is pv to the power x where x can be any number so you will be getting from here that uh, 
P into V to the power 1 by 3 is equal to constant from here you can uh, further uh, simplify this now this is the standard case and for this type of process C process is CV plus R by 1 minus X so here when I substitute the values uh, C process CV which is F by 2 R and R by 1 minus 1 by 3 so this will give us uh, F plus 3 by 2 times R C process is known to you now I can use the finally uh, that Q is equal to NC process delta T and uh, delta T I can calculate from here which will uh, I'll be getting as 2Q by F plus 3 NR and this is going to be the final answer for this uh, problem. I hope you have enjoyed and it's a very very much relevant uh, for J advanced type of exam. Uh, this question I have modified from one of the previous problem of uh, JE advanced the idea of collision frequency was uh, taken from there this question has come I think it was uh, 2015 or 16 JE advanced paper where uh, uh, a question on collision frequency was asked in JE advanced so guys here very amazing offer is present uh, and uh, it is like a three months iconic sub, uh, subscription and you'll be having one month ex extension because now you know that uh, J advanced dates have been uh, postponed and uh, I will request or I will suggest you guys to have your uh, subscription till your uh, exam date so that at any moment you can refer that and you can use my code Nitin sir for uh, if you are uh, if you want to extend or you want to join again and there is another uh, information today there is uh, one uh, webinar with Ashish Arora sir and it is on uh, 7 p.m. you can register uh, for this and uh, this is the all India test series today there is this uh, test and it is the fifth test in this paper I have made and all five papers I have made so you can find some of the finest papers in this slightly on the tougher side especially for those students who are uh, who are well prepared and looking for uh, extending those uh, gains in JE means and guys this uh, unacademy light online test series and um, if you if you want to practice problems you can just uh, go for it and yes these are the new batches which are starting from 20th april and uh, this envision batch it is like uh, uh, mains revision batch uh, i will call it and i will be discussing all topic wise problems before j mains all topic wise problems you will find in this uh, course and classes will happen uh, almost daily for this because i want to complete this uh, as early as possible so that you can get the uh, advantage uh, of uh, the same so that's it guys uh, I hope you have enjoyed this problem and uh, after a long time I have made uh, something so if you have enjoyed it and if you have liked it please uh, leave a comment and let me know how this uh, problem was whether you are able to solve it or not and what were your thoughts or where you have gone wrong you can uh, leave that in comment section so that's it. I'll be coming up very soon with another amazing problem. Thank you. Thanks for watching this.